Than you any day. <laughs> that will not work now. The pressure has left the door. You must surrender or die. He cannot live much longer, Marga. Soon he will die. We do not wish him dead. But he is our enemy. Also our husband. Machine with bomb approaching. Quick, take cover. We cannot escape, quiet. But, Marco, we can't we... escape yet. But we will. May Garvin is defeated until dead. Is that so? Yes, yes Marga. We are still alive. Depends how long that machine will be. You failed in your mission of patrol. I was outnumbered. You will be dealt with. Failure is never tolerated. You. Does the forward hat still work? Yes, Marga. Silently? Yes, Marga. It is now dim light. Soon it will be night. The last night this planet will ever know. We must capture the real spaceship before then. When I give the order, you will steal silently through the forward hatch. You will then creep round behind the Rose machine, understood? Yes, Mugger. And you will destroy it. <laughs> Telling you about it. Doctor? <coughs> we can't be a lot of time left now, is it? About to die. 
Gentiles. Have you finished that conversion? Yes, we have, but it will take some time to transfer the part of your ship to ours. Oh, nonsense, nonsense. We are concerned for your safety. And we are oh, concerned for your safety. Oh, indeed. That's very noble of you all. This is a matter of emergency. Come along. Let's have the cable in please at once. Very well. Quickly, quickly. Let me see time here. Yes, what are you going on, sir? Hmm? What are you trying to do? I'm going to transfer some power from my ship into the interior of the blue ship here. Oh. Now, if you suspect there's any trouble whilst I'm working, I want you to contact me at once, understood? Do you want me to stay here? Yes, I want you to stay here with the leader of the rules and try and have some rest. Yes, sir. Just contain yourself. Now then. Go on, off we go. You, yes, child, if you wish. Come along, hurry, hurry, hurry. Go along. Doctor trusts you. Why shouldn't he? No reason. I suppose you gave the right ethical reasons for him, so naturally he does trust you. We rescued you from the drive-ins, but you still don't trust us. You could be the same as them, using us for your own salvation. The doctor offered to help us. We needed his help. So did the drive-ins. What are you getting at? Nothing. Yes, you are. All right. He said it would take hours to charge this ship properly. The doctor said he could do it in time. Yes, but supposing just this once, you're right and he's wrong. Would you take us with you, or would you allow us to leave in our own ship? Mm. In your own ship, if possible. Come on, Marcy. I mean, if you don't get this charged in time, you aren't going to let us go just like that. We are strange beings to you. You've never met anything like us. You come from Earth, a planet we don't know. But clearly it is a planet which still knows conflict. Mm -hmm. so? If we are right, and the power charge is going to take too long a time, then the Doctor, the girl, and you must leave. We believe in self-preservation. Oh, yeah, sure. But if there is a choice, the Doctor must go. He travels further than we can. And everything he has shown his stands for is what we believe in. So, it is better that he go. Oh, sorry. You can't blame me, though, for being suspicious. Well, in that case, there's something you ought to know. Whilst I was in the driving ship, they said they intended to leave this planet in yours. We are prepared to take them with us. Oh, well, that's not what they mean. They save your ship, you stay here. We must hope they do not succeed. There's so little time left, they're going to be desperate. I'll tell you what, why not let me fix the cable for you at this end? Thank you. The machine will help you. It will be quicker. Come to me. I'm ready, Mother. Then go. Not fail. I shall not. Doctor. Mm -hmm. Good. 
nothing to worry about, my dear. I think the evenings last here for about four hours. Strange. Hmm? To think that at dawn all this will explode into nothing. No, not yet. Nothing, child. Hydrogen gas that sprays itself out like molten silver against the other stars in the same galaxy. Hmm. <laughs> uh, well, let's have the cable, please. Sure. She's out of sight. She will die willingly. She will not die until she has destroyed the machine. Will we escape, Margot? Yes, when we have destroyed the machine, we will escape. Oh, what is happening? It's the first warning of the explosion. Oh. We have only five hours left. She must act quickly. Mm. Fix up here, Doctor. Any snags at the target? Everything under control, my dear oh, Lloyd. Switch on your motors, please. Air control, full intake, cable guard, stand by. Doctor, how long is it Yes, it is, my dear. How long will it take? Oh, three to four hours, I think. Well, the ground is due to explode in less than five hours. I fully appreciate that fact, young man. There's that alarm again. Oh, what's happened? Tell us, please. Emergency message coming through. The Gardens have escaped and destroyed the family outside their spaceship. The outside my target. In the position again, safe enough. He is in no danger. Continue, Doctor. Thank you, thank there you. will be no more incidents. Well, they won't go after the TARDIS anyway, Doctor. This ship they want, and us. <laughs> 